my knees? When can I have the bonus? Patience, my sweet. The relic is a missing link. Once we possess it, the formula will soon follow. I'll see you at the meeting. We won't be late. Good. Keep me out of my hair, and everyone gets You just control your system. And as for me, leave him to me. What's going on, everybody? Monkey Dude 22 here for another Throwback Thursday Let's Play. Bruce Lee, The Quest of the Dragon is the name of the game this time. I have never played this game before in my life. This is going to be the most interesting game, I think, that I've ever going to be played on the original Xbox here. Bruce Lee, Quest of the Dragon. This game came out in 2002 and got horrible reviews. Horrible reviews. I've always been a fan of kind of like the martial arts, kung fu kind of games. Now, this is Jeet Kune Do uh, style moves, but... Uh, I, I have no idea what to expect. All I know is I, I was told this game is absolutely horrible. So we're going to take a look and see what we've got going on here. So let's take a look at player info. Uh, okay, it's going to tell me about my life points, hit points, enemies beaten, moves learned. Uh, from what I know, you can purchase new Jeet Kune Do moves by going into this purchase move and then you kind of use these uh, tokens here. So I guess uh, I have 25 tokens, so I guess I'll use the... Uh, might as well just use the rank orange and uh, maybe, well, that will just boost the attack. Why not? All right, so I guess that's really all we're going to do. So let's go ahead and continue to the monastery. Now, from doing a little bit of research here, this game, uh, it, basically it's a storyline where you play as a 24-year-old Bruce Lee and you have to battle multiple enemies uh, to rescue his kidnapped father and retrieve the lost mythical golden relic. And uh, apparently there's some organized crime lord known as uh, the Black Lotus, led by the mysterious Dragon Lady, whose father was inadvertently killed by Bruce Lee. And then, of course, you control Lee through a series of uh, set in various locations throughout the world, including Hong Kong, London, San Francisco, uh, a couple of different bosses and things like that. Uh, it was a highly anticipated game, uh, but basically <laughs> nobody liked it, so this ought to be interesting. As you know, the Shaolin Monastery was founded over 1,000 years ago by Sifu Fong Wu. He spent his life pursuing the heavenly secrets to eternal life. When he died, many of the answers he discovered were buried with him, inscribed on the ancient Ming Chi. These spirit utensils were meant to protect him in the afterlife, the past, present and future of this monastery, its honor and its power lies buried with him in the mountain temple. Your father left this monastery to pursue his love of science, dedicating his life to unlocking the cryptic writings on these sacred relics. Now, I believe your father is close on the Siu Lang relic he has discovered. Alrighty then. Now, graphics were not the number one thing that this game was praised for. In fact, nothing was really praised about this game. A lot of people have said, from what I've read, that the, the controls were basically the hardest point in the game. And also the lock-on system. There's some sort of lock-on system uh, going on here. I have a feeling this is going to kind of remind me of Ninja Gaiden. But, uh, you know, I guess we'll kind of see here. Uh-oh, we're already in the fight. Brawl. Okay. Alright, so what am I supposed to do? Alright, so we're gonna mash the A button. Triple back fist. All oh, the sound effects. <laughs> Already the sound effects. Okay, so yeah, here's here's the, the thing with the lock on, I guess. Yeah, you, you can kind of tell that uh, it's a little bit quirky uh, in terms of the lock on. I'm not picking who I'm locking onto, it's just kind of happening automatically. Um, oh, I picked up a coin. 
triple backfist. Good work. Coins are used to buy items. Loading. I can run around here and see if I can kind of practice moves here. Okay, so my X button is kind of like the uh, the uh, the hold. Uh, the I guess you could say the block or the parry. I can see my A button is my punch. Uh, B is my kick. Y does nothing. L and R do nothing. Black and white. Okay, so my white button is kind of making me do some ooh, some aggression there. Um, see, my uh, black button, dragon power, hits through blocks. Okay, so I guess the black button does my dragon power or whatever that is. Let's see. Let's teach him a lesson. Let's teach him a lesson. All right. You teach me that lesson. In the meantime, I'm just going to try to beat you up. Yeah, so basically, once I beat up an enemy, um, it automatically locks me onto another one here. Let's try to use this black button here, see if we can get that uh, dragon, whatever it was. Defeated opponents drop one coin. Alright, so that basically, that's how I'm going to get new moves and stuff, and just these two that I only have right now. Coin clock, what does that mean? <laughs> Triple back fist. Triple back fist haymaker. Some of these are punk twisters. Shuffle triple back fist. Oh, you just died. Touch of death. Great work. Life increases life bar. Okay, I never would have thought that that would do anything else. Run along, Bruce Lee. Where you go, nobody knows. Okay, to another fight. Brawl. There you go. Shuffle. Haymaker. Alright, come on. Let's do the on fire here. Oh yeah, there we go. I love these sound effects. It's, it's almost like there's a bunch of chickens clucking in the background somewhere. I can totally see someday... Uh, uh, James Rolfer, also known as the Angry Video Game Nerd, doing some kind of video on this game. I just, it just, already this feels like something that, uh, I, I, I can see a lot of material for this already. I wouldn't even dare to even try to do a video like he would. Although I love playing games of old... Especially games that I never played before, because, I mean, when this game came out in 2002, I mean, I didn't have a whole lot of money. But, I mean, now in today's age, uh, the original Xbox games are kind of at a price now, and, you know, fairly common at, like, garage sales and, like, thrift stores and stuff like that. I mean, I picked this game up at a garage sale for $2, and, uh, you know, just to, just to make a video with it. I've also got a couple of other games at the same garage sale. I picked up The Warriors, which is a Rockstar game that I'd never played before. Um, so I'm quite interested and uh, eager to play that game uh, in an upcoming Throwback Thursday. So if you know anything about that game, you know, if you know any kind of tips or tricks, you know, let me know in the comments section. Be interested to try some of that. But so far, I mean, I can say that the combat in this game is very stale. <laughs> There's not a whole lot going on. It's literally just a bunch of button mashing. All I'm doing is button mashing the A and the B buttons and sometimes alternating with the Y button. But, uh... Kind of well, all that seems to be really going on right now. Uh, I'm not really noticing too many issues with the lock-on, but I mean, it seems a little quirky in the first one. I think it's just you got to know how to play the game, I guess. All right, we got a boss fight now. All right, well, who's my boss? <laughs> Defeated opponents may drop power-ups as opposed to will. <laughs> Take it! Take it, take it, take it! Kick you right in the face. Another game that's kind of reminds me of, uh... Oh gosh, what was the name of it? It's like True Crime Streets of Hong Kong. Well, no, that was, that was, uh... What game did that become? That was the, uh... Oh gosh, the name's on the tip of my tongue. They, they did a Definitive Edition remaster. Um, Sleeping Dogs, that's what it was, Sleeping Dogs. But uh, this is more like true crime, maybe streets of New York or streets of L.A. And the combat is just so simple, you know, simplified, just not a whole lot going on. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's not horrible. Um, so far, anyway. I mean, if that was the boss and that was it, I mean, literally, I just button mashed the A and the B buttons to do that. But, 
eh. I guess the loading screens leave a little bit to do, be desired. Uh, let's see, purchase moves. Let's see if we got 77 coins. Uh, we can get the health up, the attack up, multiple forward fin spin, fist spin. Ugh, I can't even speak right now. Multiple backward fist spin. Uh, I mean, attack is always a good thing. I mean, always good to upgrade that. But let's do the the forward fin spist. Spist. Fist spin. Oh my lord. I cannot speak at all. Uh, let's get the health and the rank purple. Alright, we guess we can uh, get the attack again. Attack again. Alright, cool. So my guy should be pretty leveled up at this point. Yep, so rank purple. Looks like I go all the way to blue, green, red. Uh, I'm assuming that's black and white and then dragon. Um, life points, hit power, enemies beaten, moves learned, one. Alright. All right, well, let's go ahead into the Monastery Arena and see what is next. Guess I'm chasing after this chick already. And loading again. Cool. This was another thing that people uh, commonly referred to as an issue with the game, is just there's a ton of loading screens that just take you out of the immersion. I don't know about you, but I'm not really immersed in this game at all right now. But, uh, oh, all right, what are we, Mortal Kombat right now? I guess we're playing some Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Have a seat. Yeah, this is totally feels like a, almost like a Mortal Kombat fighter, almost. Except for, uh, less, uh, definitely less blood. All right, on fire, let's go. All right, here we go. Punch, punch, kick. There you go. Boom. Take it. Kick fist. Right to the face. Oh no, oh no. There we go. Look at that. Look at that reach. Okay. And loading again. Monastery Courtyard. So yeah, this game came out in 2002. Uh, it was published by Universal Interactive, and developer was Ronin Entertainment, and I have absolutely no idea who Ronin Entertainment is. Uh, literally no clue. I'm actually going to do a little bit of research while this is loading here. Ronin Entertainment. Let's see what else these guys did. Oh, jeez. They don't even have a thing up here. Oh, wait, here we go. Games developed, games published. Ah, it's loading up here. Cracking my knuckles, cracking my hands. Get the muscles all worked out, ready to go. <laughs> Their page doesn't even want to load. Alright, why are you just... Oh, okay. I was supposed to do something. <laughs> I thought it was still loading. Alright, uh, let's see here. Uh, games developed, so Bruce Lee, Quest of the Dragon for Xbox here in 2002, Star Wars Force Commander on the PC in 2000, Armor Command on the PC in March 31st, 1998, and their first game was Neo Hunter on the PC in 1996. So that's, that's all this company ever did. Bruce Lee was the last game that they made. I mean, for 2002, I mean, I can't say this is probably the worst thing that I've ever seen. Um, I can think of many games that are, you know, a lot less uh, interesting. I'm sure if you're a Bruce Lee fan, you probably get some sort of a kick out of this. Uh, I mean, there's not a whole lot of depth as far as I can tell right now. This is just A, B, A, A, B, 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 you know, doing all these different uh, punch-kick combos. I got another load. All right, let's go down here and see what's up. Nunchaku fight. Oh, gosh. Uh, what in the world? Oh, jeez. Well, that's kind of cool. Now I can pretend I'm Michelangelo. I don't think I've ever played a game, you know, aside of maybe the arcade games of the Ninja Turtles, where, you, I mean, you, you really have any kind of nunchuck combat. Um, at least it feels like you actually control the nunchucks a little bit more um, than any of those Ninja Turtle games. Uh, 
running around, running around. Okay, the camera's gonna tell me to go over here. And look, look at this awesome box I can kick around. Physics at its finest in 2002. Boom. Alright, let's see. Where are we going now? Well, I can't go that way. Okay. I guess it just wants to shift the camera around just to be cool. Whatever that is, I have no idea. Complete Dragon Rewards. Five tokens. Jungle Path. Alright, let's take a look at the Jungle Path and see where this is going to lead us. It leads us to area complete. All right, cool. Let's see, player info. I mean, that's the same thing. Let's see if we got, okay, we got 54 coins. Uh, we can rank up and get some more health. Probably want some more health, maybe. Um, let's get some jump kicks in here. And I don't know what a dragon token does, but let's do a dragon token. Cool, let's go ahead and save the game. Look at that, 50,000 blocks. Now you can't tell me how much space is on there, can you? <laughs> that was always the interesting thing about the original Xbox, is I had no idea how much storage that I had on it. All I know is I never came close to filling it up all the way. But uh, if memory serves, the original Xbox came with either a 15 or a 20 gig hard drive. Um, but they, they use things in quote unquote blocks, because whenever the original Xbox came out, they also had those memory units. Uh, that you could plug into the controllers that were that was kind of like a memory card where you can save games as well so um, not quite sure why they would really have that other than you know you can actually take your uh, saves with you to a friend's house with the Xbox 360 they made it so they have like an external detachable hard drive that you can do uh, now with Xbox one you just have the cloud and everything just syncs up with your profile no matter where you're at which is I think freaking amazing You're right in the face. Oh! <laughs> what about you? You have no name. You have no chance. Why don't you just fall down right now? Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much the, seems like the same thing over and over. You go to a different area, you, you know, you spam the button combos to kill guys, and then you keep going. Uh, Alright, I guess I'm going to go up here. Oh, that music. Alright, let's get in the... Dragon fist. There we go. Dragon punch. <laughs> Just being surrounded right now. You know what really this game makes me wish I was playing now? Like Assassin's Creed or Batman. I love that combo system and the combat system in Batman. Like the Arkham series. Arkham, Arkham Knight by far is probably my favorite out of the whole series. Well, Arkham City was pretty good too, but... Uh, Probably Arkham Knight is my favorite. But, uh, oh, the free flow combat system that they developed in that game was amazing. Even in Assassin's Creed, it does pretty well, but, uh, you can definitely tell that those systems were evolved on games dead. like this. I mean, this is like a game that kind of originated that sort of combat style, so, um, you know, it's kind of one of those things where it's kind of cool to see what it's like, uh, originally. Uh, I guess this is the boss. Is he dead already? That was the boss? Like, seriously? Come on. That, that can't be the boss. There's got to be another guy over here somewhere. There's no way that that was the boss. Alright, where am I going? Can I run down? Do I need to climb up? Oh, wow, I climb up. <laughs> Alright. Go, Bruce Lee! Climb up the stairs. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that walk up the stairs. Oh, here we go. Get that combo in. Alright. Come on. It's time for you to get off my rock. Oh, the chicken sound effects, though. Hata! Hata! Yeah, the lock on, this is where, I'm seeing some issues with the lock on now. 
Or maybe I'm just doing the wrong button combos. It's hard to tell if it's a system flaw or if it's it's me and my inexperience of playing the game right now. Get those coins. Coin clock. Okay. Well, I think I got all of them anyway, but I guess we're going to the jungle temple now. After we purchase some more moves. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and rank blue. And we'll increase the attack. I, I find literally that there is no need to purchase any other moves right now. Because it seems that like you just upgrade your attack as you go through and, you know, punch, punch, kick, kick, you know, does the trick. Throw out the dragon fist once in a while and you can, you know, do some damage through that. But otherwise it seems to be... Uh, Fairly straightforward. No need to really purchase any other moves. Brawl. Oh, here we go. Yeah, look, at the, look at the damage that I do to these guys. The red, uh, the red meter, of course, being the uh, the enemies. And just one punch should basically take them down to nothing. There we go. <laughs> Roundhouse right to the face. Dead. It's like the touch of death. Maybe I'm way too OP right now. <laughs> Look at that one punch, he's dead. <laughs> he's got no chance. Boom, boom, boom. Aw, oh, I missed him. There you go. <laughs> I mean, literally, these guys have no chance. They're running away from me now. Yeah, I think I'm way too OP with that attack power right now. It almost makes the game not even that fun. But it's kind of interesting in a way. Alright, here we go. Next set. Straight combo. Kick, punch, kick, kick. Oh gosh, we're getting killed now. Alright, Dragon Fist, let's go. Alright, here we go. Time to come back. Comeback time. Oh, kicked her right in the back of the face. Come on. Yeah, this is this is the problem I can see with the lock on because I wanted to go after that guy while he was on the ground and I couldn't. Oh, Bruce Lee. Oh no. You have been defeated. Continue game. Two lives. Get back up. There we go. There you go. Have a seat. Boom. I get knocked down, but I get up again. Yeah, they're gonna keep me down. Boss fight. Well, he's dead. There you go. Alright. It's a dragon fist going on. Alright, boom. Kick. Get down. Boom. Have a nice fall. And I think that's it for the boss fight, unless I got anybody else going up the stairs. Oh, there here we he go. Is. Let's get him. Let's get him. Bring it. Nunchaku fight. <laughs> Look at that. All right, so I'm figuring out the targeting thing now. So basically, uh, if you hit the uh, the L trigger or the R trigger rather. Um, the uh, the target changes. Now you can't pick who you're going after, but it does change up the target. So that makes it a little bit makes a little bit more sense. Doesn't explain why I'm so OP right now, but <laughs> just running around, flip, 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 flip. Look at that! <laughs> Come on. That's way too OP for a nunchuck. Just slap him on the back of the head and he's dead. Double damage. Well, there's nobody else to do double damage against, so... Boss fight. Alright, Dragon Fist. Double multiple. 
Come on, get him, get him, get him. There we go. There you go. Punch, punch, kick! Right in the shin. Get those coins. Be like Mario. Need my coins. Get off my platform. There you go. Let's see what else we got going on here. Running around, running around. I guess that's it. Now we go to the amphitheater. But first, we have to purchase moves. Let's see. Go to rank green already. I think the dragon tokens help. I think the dragon tokens are basically what get me to uh, do those like fire fist moves and stuff like that. But we'll go ahead and go through the amphitheater real quick and uh, confirm that theory there. But if you guys are liking this uh, sort of throwback Thursday kind of video, uh, with the Bruce Lee Quest of the Dragon, and you want to see more of the game, uh, make sure to leave a comment in the comment sections. Make sure to hit the like button. Share out the video with your friends if you think they might be interested. Wow. Let's see how tough you really are, I got raided. Dragon. Except for no Okay, we'll load again. All right. Oh wow. Okay, time attack. All right. So let's get the dragon fist going. Alright, come on. Gotta get these guys down quick. Get them down quick. Come on, get them down. Get up! I need to kill you! Oh! Oh, I think I got him! I think I got him at the last second. Holy cow. I didn't think that would be so difficult, but I guess uh, you never know. All right, here we go. Double damage. Keep going. There we go. Get through these guys quick. Right, kick. Boom. I guess they want me to go down the stairs. Yeah, the, the loading screens really throw you out of the, uh, really throw you out of the experience for sure. We got the amphitheater stage. Purchase moves. Well, I can't really do anything, but I'll get another dragon token. Why not? Let's get through to that last boss here. But yeah, like I said, if you guys are interested in the video and you want to see more, make sure to let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section, sharing out the video, and hitting that like button. That lets me know that you guys are interested in these kind of games um, and kind of gives me an idea of what to play next. Uh, make sure also to follow me on Twitter, at uh, MonkeyDude22, because I do also uh, kind of tweet out all the different games that I have and uh, try to uh, try to give people a kind of a choice of what I want to play next. Um, you know, because it's always more interesting when there's uh, interaction and folks want to see what's going on. I've also been kind of uh, toying around with the idea of uh, doing these actually as a live stream as opposed to the, the video on demand versions. I find the video on demand version a little bit easier to do, but uh, you know, if you guys are interested in seeing me do these live, uh, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Punch right to the face. Oh, kick. Come on. Drop. Come on, Raiden. Oh, no. Alright. Dragon Fist. Boom! Boom! And that's enough for Raiden. Thank you for the coins. I'm Bruce Lee. 
and now to the prayer room. But I think that's going to wrap it up, guys. If you guys, like I said, are interested in more content, make sure to smash the like button, share out the videos, and all that good stuff. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well, so that way you'll be notified as soon as I release new content. I do all sorts of stuff from uh, Xbox support type videos, Let's Plays, Top 10s, and different things like that. So I'd love to have you along for the ride. Anyway, that's going to do it for this Throwback Thursday. This was Bruce Lee, Quest of the Dragon for the original Xbox, released in 2002. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.